So your major is aerospace engineering. And then earlier, Evan, you were telling me this crazy story. And you were actually talking about it together. Was it about the atomic, jet? The atomic bomb. Oh. And uh, what's his name? Leo. You Leo Szilard. Yeah. Uh, who discovered the idea of the nuclear chain reaction back in the 30s in Germany when he was studying at Berlin. And he was really, really close with Einstein. And they, he, he, were, he would walk home with Einstein every day and they would talk about physics and, and the future and technology and stuff like that um and then when the regime changed in 1933 then uh leo Szilard fled to britain um because he felt that it would be safer there and he tried to tell the british about the atomic bomb and or the potential for an atomic bomb and they did not take him seriously. They were like, "That's that's rubbish," you know. <laughs> of course, you'd that's say a load of rubbish. British accent. Um, and he he was like, "What do you mean? Like this is so important." And he could eventually he convinced the British that it was it should be a, a military secret. Mm. But like they didn't still take him seriously. No, so they he still went to the Americas. Yep, he came to and America. Then, like, and then the United States was like, "Oh shit! Like we should actually like." This actually could be something important. And then they, they actually pursued the idea of building it. And then the guy kept even warning that it's like... He's like, okay, but don't, don't use it, Don't use though. it. Do not use this thing. How about I do anyways? Well, see, the thing is that the, the president that he had connections with was Roosevelt. And then when Roosevelt died, he, he had influence with Roosevelt. But when Roosevelt died and Truman became president... He had no inroads with Truman. And so Truman was like, no, I'm going to use the bomb. And Leo Szilard was livid, absolutely livid. But there was nothing he could do anymore because he didn't have any contacts to to really like reach Truman's desk and, and say like, no, 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 don't do this. And so he he had to live with this for the rest of his life, this idea that he created the very idea of what ended up causing one of the worst humanitarian disasters in history. And he spent the rest of his life advocating for denuclearization on the planet. Um, obviously to no avail because we still have nuclear weapons today. Dude, it's bad. I'm um, scared. Uh, you know what? I'm not concerned about nuclear weapons that's not what i would be concerned about i think today's modern I what, climate change today's modern weaponry that i would be concerned about is entirely cyber warfare based that's that's what i would be concerned about cyber in the modern age warfare explain tomo explain you guys it's just hacking it's one yeah it's, it's literally just hacking, hacking it's literally it's, it. 